uh, the energy in the dugout was, uh, you know, I've only experienced that a couple times during my years as a coach. It was unbelievable. No matter if you were playing or not, the guys were locked in, and then we got great pitching. Great pitching gave us a chance, but, uh, you know, that, I'm real happy for our seniors. They deserve this. I've said it to a lot of folks here the last several weeks. These guys deserve it. They're a good club. They are a team. This is a good team. What's it say about your team to not only just win this tournament, but to win it in a way you guys are able to battle back so many times? Yeah. Well, you know, I mean, we got ourselves in a predicament with playing two games on Wednesday, and I didn't hear a word out of the players. You know, they didn't complain about it. They didn't say a word about the fact that they had to play late, and we had to turn around the next day. And, you know, this, they, they kind of enjoy each other. They enjoy the game of baseball. It really is what college athletics is all about. You know, if you watch these kids play with the spirit, the enthusiasm, the passion that they have, it's just special to be around them. I don't want it to end. They seem to have an inner strength they play from within. Well, you know, it comes from those seniors, you know. I mean, these seniors changed. You know, they, they learned a hard lesson last year. We didn't play as well as we're capable of, and they decided that wasn't going to happen this year. They decided that in the fall. This team has done everything right, you know, on the field, off the field, in the classroom, in the community. It's not just on the baseball field. This is a special group in every way. It's a really neat thing. What about the pressure? The new ballpark, your first year, all the brouhaha. Well, you know, look at what these guys accomplished the last nine days. We had to win three games against Missouri State. They did it. All of them were close games. And we come in here and we're expected to win this tournament because we're hosting and we win the first game, not not by a lot, lose the second game, get ourselves in a situation where we got to play, you know, basically six games and and three plus days and they did it. I mean, they're, they've they accomplished everything we've asked them to do. It's a special group. You've had a lot of scrappy teams here. Yeah. How do you rate this one? Well, it's, yeah, I mean, I, I'm proud of a, a lot of teams that I've had a chance to work with and but you know, you got to say this is just as good as any team we've had. I mean, look at the record they've they've accomplished, and no Creighton team has ever won the regular season and the postseason. No Creighton team has ever done that except the 2011. There's some pretty good teams that have played here, and they can say they've never done that. So this team was on a mission to do that. They just didn't want to win the regular season. They wanted to win this tournament. They could have easily just kind of played half-heartedly today, knowing that we're probably in the regionals, but that wasn't good enough for them. Not, it says a lot about it. It's not a bad way to christen a new ballpark. No, it wasn't. It's a, it's a, you know, we're gonna have a lot of, we're gonna have a lot of fun in this ballpark over the years. I was real pleased with the fans. I mean, gosh, they got behind this team the last three days. It was really neat. It was really a neat experience. You know, as a coach, sometimes you, you know, you, you're so in tune to what's going on on the field that you don't notice it. But I mean, they were noticeable today how they got behind this team. And I don't know if you saw those last few relievers. They probably throw it as hard as they had all year, and they had thrown it four straight days. <laughs> that tells you what adrenaline and, and the push of the crowd can do for you. And just talk a little bit about Dufik and Block and, yeah. and how they played it out. Maybe what was the plan and how did that? The plan was to go 45 pitches with those guys. I think Jonas threw 46. They got us eight outs, which is great. I think Ty threw 52 and got a few more outs. And then once we got into that sixth and seventh, I knew we had matchup. We had the matchups we were looking for. We had Reese matching up with the bottom half of their order. I told Jack I wanted him to match up against Chris O'Brien. We wanted Chris O'Brien to hit right-handed. And then Preston Springer, the other left-hander. And then once we got to that, we knew Kurt was gonna finish that thing. And, and once Kurt struck out Johnny Coy, you knew the game was, we were gonna win that game. 